Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso, coming to you this morning from the northeast of Scotland. So the coffee roaster that we're going to be looking at this morning is uh, based in Slovenia. I've already done a review for them um, for this month, but this is the second bag of beans that I got. And the name of the company is... Good story. As you can see, this is their um, coffee from Nicar Nicaragua and um, red bourbon natural process score of 85.75 and suggests notes of orange, plum and tangerine. So I'm expecting quite a nice fruity espresso from this one. Um, okay, nothing different on the back from the last bag of beans. As you can see, roast date for this was the 15th of February and I've only just recently opened it. So it should be well rested. But um, anyway, what we'll do is I've already weighed out the 18 grams of beans. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, pop along to the niche and take a look at the beans, shall we? So we'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, that's us um, at the niche. I'm looking down at the beans in the niche. So... Um, as you can see, I mean, the, the beans, I would suggest the beans are light to medium. As you can see, I've got my dial on the niche set at 10. So I am hoping that that will be a fine enough um, grind on the niche to produce a consistent, decent shot. Okay, guys, so we'll just go on to the grind then, shall we? Okay guys, so welcome back. That's us at the purest dicker now, ready to do a shot. So the boiler just now is sitting at 94 degrees Celsius. So 18 grams of coffee has been prepped. We aim to get 36 grams out in approximately 25 to 30 seconds, give or take. As I said, the setting on the niche is at 10. So let's give this a shot, shall we, and see what we get. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me guys, so that was a 34 second shot, so perhaps a little bit over extracted. It's interesting because um, um, about 10 minutes ago or so I tried um, Dial on Niche at 10 and it did it in 30 seconds, so interesting that uh, there's an extra 4 seconds added there, even though the Dial um, is at exactly the same setting. So we can probably go perhaps slightly coarser on this one, so I would suggest Probably a ten, ten and a half would would uh, would do fine for this one. Um, anyway, I'm still gonna have the shot. The um, weight is uh, thirty-five point three grams, so we didn't quite make the thirty-six grams. But um, even even so, I'm still relatively happy with the, with the, how the shot has turned out. As you can see, there's a little bit of crema left over there. So what we'll do is just pause here, let the brew cool down for a few seconds, and when we come back, we'll do the tasting. Back in a second, guys. Okay guys, welcome back. So that's the brew just cooled. As you can see, a little bit of espresso left, uh, crema left over there. So we'll just go on to the tasting notes. So we'll start the nose first. There's fruits. Yeah. Definitely getting the oranges. Definitely citrus influence on this one with the oranges. There's some chocolate there. I'm picking up some floral notes as well. It does smell very, very nice. It smells very inviting, rich and bold. Let's go on to the taste. Mm. 
Mm. It's bold, punchy, rich. Getting the citrus notes, the oranges. Not getting any um, acidity with this one. There's some chocolate there in the background. Medium, medium bodied, I would suggest, the mouthfeel. Quite slick down the throat, quite oily. It's very, very pleasant. Excellent. Let's have another taste. Again, there's some tartness there with the oranges. No, but no real acidity on this one. Chocolate notes coming through. Sweetness as well. I see what they mean about the tangerines. So oranges is a bit more citrus, and tangerines I find more sweet. So there's almost that definitely tangerine type sweetness to this one, which could easily be confused with oranges, to be honest. But there is a difference. A little bit of dryness on the palate, producing um, salivation, some juiciness. Mm. It's interesting with the plum note that they add on the, on the packaging. Um, plum is something I just, so far on my coffee journey, um, I have not, I've not really got the taste of plums. Or maybe there was one or two coffees I've tried where I did, but uh, it's, a note, it's a note that I seem to miss uh, when I'm tasting, I don't really get if it's if it's mentioned in the notes. I don't really I don't really get it for some reason. Right, so this is very good. My only one and only criticism about it uh, or with it is, for me personally, it just it needs a little bit of acidity. I mean, it's juicy, it's fruity. You're getting all those notes, you're getting oranges and tangerines, but there's just no acidity to this. And I just feel that it just needs even a smidgen of acidity, it just to give it a little bit of complexity to bring it, to, just, to, just to lift it slightly and make it a bit brighter, um, in my opinion. This is just my subjective opinion, guys. I mean, you can disagree with what I, what I say about it when it comes to that sort of thing, but this is just my personal opinion. Um, it is very good, and I'm going to score it an 8, because I do think it is excellent. And it's the only... It's the only area I feel it could just get a little bit better. It's just that lift of acidity just to brighten everything up and um, give it a bit more balance. I mean, it is per it is very well balanced between the citrus. There's good sweetness there, but the tangerine sweetness coming through. I just feel it just needs a little bit more just to lift it. Just to lift it up slightly. In any case, it is excellent stuff. And thumbs up to Goat Story. Um, both your beans I've tried. Uh, this one and um, the other one. Um... I think it was a Honduran, if I'm not mistaken. Both have been excellent quality, and um, they're doing a really good job. And thumbs up to them. And, um, yeah, anyway, guys, so that's uh, Goat Stories Nicaraguan. Um, it's for, I didn't pronounce uh, mention it earlier. It's from the Mirish family, Los Placeras. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, um, let's uh, have a quick look at what we're going to be reviewing next. So we're going back to Sweden. And um, I'm going to go back to standard coffee. I have got quite a few more of standard coffee coffees to try. So this will be the, uh, another Costa Rican from them. Al Salita Anaerobic Typica. Tasting notes of red florals. Amazing structure. Tangerine, honey, white tea and an elegant finish. I'm never disappointed with standard coffee. So very looking forward to trying that one. So that will be the, my next review that will be coming up soon, guys. Okay, guys, well, as always, thanks so much for watching. It's always appreciated. And please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you wish. Anyway, guys, um, have a fantastic day, and I will see you again soon. Take care.